Here we have the Butisa biochar kiln being operated on a wine estate just outside Stellenbosch, which is near Cape Town, South Africa. Inside the kiln we have three 55-gallon barrel retorts containing different feedstock materials typically found in this area and in vineyards. In this area they have access to masses of discarded grape cluster stems which can easily be compressed into the retorts. In this burn we have also included some wattle bark and grape cluster stems mixed in layers with grape skins and seeds. The kiln has been going for about 40 minutes now and the three retorts have been sufficiently heated to start releasing volatiles. The kiln was bottom lit through the ventilation holes. Each 55 gallon barrel rests on an air inlet channel. The grape skins and seeds and other waste is not only quite dense but also quite fine, almost like sawdust. We can only achieve complete carbonization of fine or hardy material if we layer it in with less dense and airy feedstocks such as grape stems. We achieve 100% pyrolysis of fine material using this system. At a temperature of around 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermal decomposition of the biomass becomes more extreme and results in emissions of a combustible mixture of hydrogen, carbon monoxide, methane, carbon dioxide, and other hydrocarbons and tars. Pyrolysis becomes exothermic because biomass contains oxygen within its structure, which when liberated starts energy releasing oxidation reactions with the gases and char. We're controlling the burn and ultimately the heat through the use of the primary air inlets. This chimney which is made from discarded five gallon paint tin pails. These energy releasing reactions create the heat required to break other chemical bonds in the biomass. In principle, the process becomes self-sustaining and continues on its own up to a temperature of around 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit, when only an oxygen depleted, carbon enriched charcoal residue remains. We'll give this kiln another hour or so to finish gassing off before capping it off. Cap the kiln by closing the primary air inlet channels with soil and switching out the chimney for a cap that fits around the chimney flange sealed with wet clay. The kiln will gradually cool down over the next 12 hours and due to the absence of oxygen and presence of carbon dioxide, the biochar will not ignite. The retorts are lifted into and out of the ring kiln with the use of an overhead tripod and a block and tackle hoist. Feel free to view more videos on our channel or visit the Vutisa and Vutisa tech blog websites.